Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this tutorial I'm going to try to explain to you how you can create such sharp edges using masking, uh, polygroups and using Transpose Smart Mask Brush. So, let's get started. I'm going to use Cylinder 3D pressing T on the keyboard to go to edit mode and make a poly mesh out of it and on the geometry I'm going to turn on DynaMesh without blur, without projection and resolution 128 now I'm going to use a classical mask pen uh, brush and I'm going to use symmetry pressing ALT on the keyboard and I'm going to just uh, mask out something similar that we saw in the beginning then I'm going to go to transpose tool but uh, default that this tool is uh, selected so I'm going to just hold shift and click and drag and then holding shift and click and drag in it and all that was that wasn't masked is pushed outwards. So uh, now you could press Ctrl W to uh, polygroup this uh, masked area, but I'm not going to do this now, just for the sake of the, this tutorial. So I double clicked and dragged uh, Ctrl, uh, click and drag on the canvas to redynamesh it pressing shift F on the keyboard to turn on uh, polyframes and now that I have this I'm going to shut down Dynamesh and for the sake of uh, showing you what I want I'm going to duplicate this turning off symmetry and holding control and click and dragging on the center and pressing shift to align it with uh, another with the first one and under sub tool I'm going to under split split unmasked so I have these two sub tools now on the first one uh, ZBrush 4R6 has uh, under deformation really nice uh, polish features uh, which I use a lot and I normally click here to have this circle uh, empty so the polish is uh, pretty strong so if I would do this now you can see I don't get this crisp edge I just it just polishes uh, everything and even even uh, under polish by group because I have only one poly group this won't work so now I'm going to I'm going to let's see what happened. Yeah. I'm going to select the other one and I'm going to mask out this center and make it a polygroup and then make a different polygroup for this border and a different polygroup for this top. So first of all I'm going to mask out this top pressing Control shift on the keyboard making select rectangular uh, so this is selected pressing Control clicking on the canvas to make it everything masked and Control w to make a polygroup out of masked uh, area Control shift and click on the canvas to make everything visible again and if you turn on shift f polyframes polygroups you can now see this is a this is separate polygroup now you could go in and mask this out by hand pressing uh, symmetry which doesn't work because it's not centered in the center but this this tool under brushes pressing B D and S we can select transpose smart mask tool and automatically it moves us to the move tool and now if I press uh, control and click and drag it will mask according to the surface 
it's not like the transpose tool that would uh, mask everything it just uh, concentrates on the on the surface uh, so if you want to add some more you would just hold control and shift and click and drag and as you can see I immediately get uh, masked out what I want so now I can press control W and make another polygroup and if I turn it on you can see I have this polygroup and now I can uh, make this visible and under subtool I can go polygroups and auto group and because uh, these polyframes are not attached together it will mask them as a separate uh, polygroups so now I have polygroups that I wanted so if I go down to the formation and now click on uh, polish by groups to make it uh, more concrete and just polish out and you can see I get these really nice edges crisp edges that you can use for I don't know your mechanical models and we didn't use any brushes like uh, edge polish or anything similar just plain uh, transpose smart mask brush and polygrouping it and using polish by groups so uh, you could then uh, let's see duplicate it again and I'm going to split unmasked and I'm going to select this one and now I would like to Z remesh it so I don't have so much uh, polyframes and I just w don't want this kind of jaggies to be present so going down to geometry under Z remesher you can uh, use freeze you should f use freeze groups to uh, to keep the polygroups and uh, Z remesher would will uh, Z remesh everything according to the groups so I'm going to apply only one K for each group and hopefully this will work and just uh, wait for a few seconds for Z remesher to do its magic and we will have a uh, more cleaner a uh, polyframe uh, model so you can see and uh, this uh, this is a similar uh, this is a different technique for um, creating crisp edges on your models you could go in and z remesh it and inflate it and flatten it but this is a quicker run if you ask me so you can see now we have polyframes redistributed ready for painting uh, and still you can uh, polish it because you have all the different uh, polygroups uh, retained from the original mesh so this is it for this tutorial I hope you learned something new subscribe to my channel share this video and till next time bye